Today I want to show you my red carpet look that I made with $8 fabric from Walmart. Hey everybody, it's Carmen and welcome back to my channel. If you are a brand new uh, sewer or like me returning to sewing after a long time, welcome. Subscribe below, hit that notification bell, and you will be notified the next time I upload a brand new video. I had a special event to attend and I wanted to make my own outfit. I decided on New Look $67.89 for the skirt and I paired it with New Look $65.98. I made this view here for my red carpet look. I purchased the fabric at Walmart. It was a bolt that had two and a half yards on it and the bolt was listed as bridal satin. It's, um, it's really a beautiful color. It's kind of like a champagne color, uh, pearl color. And um, I didn't wash it. I was afraid, <laughs> I was afraid uh, that I would ruin it. So I figured I would use it to just test out the fit and see if that was even the outfit that I wanted to decide on for the evening. As I was working on the outfit, my time was getting shorter and shorter and I finally decided this is the outfit I had to wear. This is such a great skirt pattern. It, it's right at the natural waist. You've got darts in the front and darts in the back for shaping. It has little side slits on each side. The buttons are really beautiful. I don't know if you can see them there. They have a a little bit of bling and uh, still have the color, the champagne color through it. The top has beautiful shaping. Uh, uh, the darts are in the front, darts in the back. It has a little tie in it. I don't know if I'll, I'll do the tie next time. There really is no need for the tie. The uh, collar is the only thing I'm not really happy with. I found the collar to be bulky with the facing and the back facing. Um, perhaps it was just because of the fabric that I was working with. I think if I were to try this again, I may not use that back facing. So to be able to work with this, uh, because it does fray, I first of all cut the pattern using my pinking shears. So any kind of, any type of cutting that I did on here was with pinking shears. I used Microtech needles and extra fine point pins that I also purchased from Walmart for this project. Also new to me that I used was hem tape and fray check. I surged all my seams to help minimize the fraying. I took my time with the outfit because I didn't want to have to make a mistake and then remove any stitching and leave holes all over the satin. So these simple designs took a little longer than usual. The skirt took me one day and I used hem tape so you would not see the, the hem stitching from the outside. All the pressing was done on a very low setting. I tried not to use steam when I didn't have to and I pressed using a pressing cloth. The top took me a little longer to finish. I'm not crazy about the collared area. There seems to be a little bulk there and I'm not sure if it's the facing, the collar facing and the back facing uh, combined with the type of fabric that it is. If I go to do the top again, I may omit the back facing. I did work it, but it could be better. The buttons took the longest. Uh, I was searching for that perfect button. My uh, B plan was to use self-covered buttons, but I did find those pretty little rhinestone buttons at Hobby Lobby. I used fray check on the buttonholes to minimize the fraying there. I did mess up on one buttonhole, but hey, I'm not perfect and neither is my outfit. My outfit matched my shoes perfectly. The shoes, I purchased them, oh, I don't know, about eight or nine years ago for my son's wedding. And I was so happy that the, the color of the shoe matched the outfit. The champagne colored clutch, however, that I was gonna use that evening broke. And I ended up using a beautiful red clutch for a pop of color. I did wash this sample of the uh, satin just last night 
and it turned out beautifully. There was no shrinking. I'm very happy now with that. So I'll be taking my uh, outfit to the dry cleaners. I really took my time working on this outfit really most of the month. So I didn't get a lot of sewing makes done for June. Uh, so it's, uh, this is, this is one and I'll do another video with the sundresses that uh, I have also made in the month of June. But this really is a fabulous outfit um, for eight bucks, 16 if you include the buttons. I hope my $8 red carpet look inspired you. Check out this video for more inspiration and I'll talk to you soon.